Hey, Coach Sean here. Welcome to another follow along video where the goal is to keep you strong, functional, and healthy so you can do the things that you want to do with your body and in your life. The session today is going to be about 30 minutes. Make sure you have some water nearby. Listen to my cues. You're going to need a kettlebell or two, something lighter and heavier. Hopefully you have that. Try to have some fun with it. Be safe. Never do anything that's well outside your current fitness level. Okay, we're gonna start with phase one of the workout, joint mobility, warm up, uh, head to toe postural assessment, get in tune with your body and be diligent with this, okay? Range, full range of motion each and every segment of the body. Here we go, three, two, one, let's start. Standing nice and tall, start with your head and neck looking side to side. Make sure to deep breathe, this is not strenuous, simply preparing the body for a nice, relaxing stretch. Excellent work. And now chin to chest and look straight up. Try to do this while nasal breathing the whole time. It's a great way to slow your breathing down. It's linked to better posture. Get you nice and relaxed. Ears to shoulders. Excellent work. Working your way down, shoulder circles. Bring them up towards the ears and down towards the hips. And switch directions. One arm stays straight. Same side, the hip goes back, draw big circles with the arm. Brush up the bicep against the ear, opening up the hip and the shoulders at the same time. And go ahead and switch directions. Relax with this. Little TLC for the hips and shoulders. Same thing for the other side. Arms straight, kickstand the leg, big backward circles. And switch directions. Loosen things up here with the torso twist, pivoting on the back foot, chest stays high, let the arms swing, loosening up the whole body. Excellent work. Hands on the hips, big hula hoop. Draw hip circles, relax, keep breathing, working our way down. And go ahead and switch directions. Excellent. Feet together, reach down for, towards the floor and up towards the ceiling. Nice and easy. Use whatever range of motion your body will allow. Your knees can be bent.
Beautiful. Keep the core engaged, hinge back, feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Tuck the chin, thumbs are up. We're gonna pinch the shoulder blades together. So we're retracting our shoulder blades, focusing on the middle back muscles. Getting that stretch in the, in the hamstrings at the same time. Excellent. Stationary marching, driving up with the one knee, reaching back with the opposite arm. Nicely done. Excellent work. Now we're moving on to phase two of the warm up our core activation. It's very important to activate those large core muscles before we train. This is going to prevent injury, keep the midsection strong and tight. If you have aesthetic goals, you will firm and tone up the midsection this way as well. Okay, so laying flat on your back, listen to my cues. We're doing two rounds of core activation starting in three, two, one, now. Lay flat on your back. Big inhale through the nose, zip up the core. Think pelvic tilt. Cross your arms as shown. Bring your chin up towards your chest as you crunch. Always think rolling your chin to your chest, breathing out as you engage the midsection muscles. Keep this going until I cue you to switch. Force the tension in the midsection. Just a few more. Excellent work. Arms up, tops of the arms are on the ground. Feet flat, drive those heels in. Think glute bridge, stretching out the hip flexors as you engage the butt muscles. Hold it nice and high. Making sure to breathe, we're not relaxing the core. We are focusing on the glutes. And for diligence, go ahead and do a few reps all the way down to the ground and bring them up nice and high again. Good work. Get into the side plank on your elbow. You could also do this from the knees. If you're feeling up for it, let's do this windmill where that free hand reaches up towards the ceiling. We thread the needle, come down, and then right back up. Chest stays high, drive the elbow into the ground, focus on your core. The regular side plank is totally fine as well. Good job, go ahead and switch sides, same thing. Hips are high off the ground, stay tight, drive that elbow into the ground. Perform the windmill or don't. Nice work. Get flat on your back again. In three, two, one. Cross those arms over the shoulders. Back to crunches. Go for it. Tense those midsection muscles. Fully engage your core. Make sure you're breathing. Rolling your chin towards your chest and coming up. Last round like this. 
Excellent. Tops of the arms into the ground. This time, glute bridges for reps. Drive with the heels up and down. Go for it. Locking that midsection in place, but focusing on the posterior chain muscles. Now, hold for a few seconds. Up. Nicely done. Good job. When you're ready, we're going to transition into the side plank. This round, I'm showing just the side plank. Feel free to do the windmill if you wish. Driving that elbow into the ground, staying tight. Go ahead and switch sides. Last set, core tight, drive the elbow into the ground, make sure to breathe. Great work on the core activation. Hopefully you're feeling that in the midsection, you're feeling the muscles of the core literally activate and you're getting some more muscle tension in that area. So now that we've done that, our diligence, we're gonna move on to some coordination, some gait improvement via crawls. Okay, we're gonna go for about a minute or a little, just, just over the minute. And I want you to listen to my cues, use whatever space you have available, but we're gonna pause our positions at random. So move very slowly, start on all fours, advance forward and then backwards, and again, we are going to pause on my cue. Okay, we're gonna start this in three, two, one. Get in position. On all fours, and start. Very slow, very controlled. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warmed up. Go ahead and pay attention as I explain to you what drill number one is all about. This is our lower body focused drill. Here we go. Starting with the two hand swing, we hinge back, chest high, back flat. Nice tight grip on the handle. Hike it back, explode up. Lock out the knees, drive hard with the heels, and tense the core and the glutes in the standing position. We're doing 12 repetitions. Following that, straddle the weight. We're doing eight zip-ups. Driving hard with the feet, locking out those knees, keeping a loose grip on the handle and tucking the elbows underneath as we stand tall. Eight zip-ups. Following that, one more. 20-second static lunge hold, just like this. Doing both sides. 
Elbows are right underneath the weight. Core is tight. Chest is high. Really engaging the lower body muscles. Here we go. Set up your swings. 12 reps. Go for it. Excellent work. Straddle the weight. Eight zip-ups. Here we go. Drive hard. Push that floor away. Keep a loose grip on the handle. Tuck the elbows underneath. Think about your posture every time we stand. Just a few more, all the way to eight. Excellent. When you're ready, static lunge. Use whatever range of motion your body will allow and hold 20 seconds. Beautiful work. Go ahead and switch sides. Crush the handles, elbows underneath the weight. Think about your leg muscles. Keep your core tight. Make sure to breathe. Put your weight down, shake things out, keep moving. Sip on some water. Pause the video if you need some extra time to recover. Mentally get ready, we're doing round two. Set up your swing, 12 reps, here we go. Drive with the heels, squeeze those glutes, push the floor away, core stays tight. Excellent. Get into your zip ups for eight reps, chest high, back flat. Loose grip on the handle, tuck those elbows underneath. Standing plank, every repetition. The weight stays close to the body. Handle under the chin when we stand. Looking good, almost there. Here we go, go ahead and set up your static lunge. Excellent, try to have the weight distributed on both feet. Core is tight, chest is high. Hold. Excellent, go ahead and switch sides, almost done. Front foot stays nice and flat. Good work. We have one more set to go. Shake things out. Pause the video if you need to. If you have a heavier weight available, let's try it with a heavier weight this time. Here we go. Time to push it. Set up your swings. Chest high, back flat, hinge. Tight grip on the handle. 12 reps. Go. Tense those glutes, core tight, lock out the knees, feet stay flat, drive with that lower body. Excellent. Go ahead, straddle the weight. Zip ups for eight. Loose grip on the handle, tuck those elbows underneath. Drive hard with the lower body. Keep your core tight. Almost there.
Beautiful. Set up your static lunge. Zip up the core. Weight is evenly distributed on both legs. Chest high, core tight. Crush the handles if you need extra stability. Excellent work. Go ahead and switch sides. Last set. Nicely done. Good for you. Shake things out and relax. Sip on some water and pay attention as I explain to you what drill two is all about. It's going to be our upper body drill. With the kettlebell you're comfortable with, we're going to rack up the weight. Strict press. Line up that bicep with the ear. Take three seconds to lower it into the rack. Goes up quick, comes down slow. Standing plank, wrist stays straight, nice tight grip on the handle. We're doing 10 presses like this. And then, single leg bent over row. We're going to rest the toes on the ground. That front foot is loaded. It's about 90% as we row. The back foot is barely touching the ground, just there for a bit of balance. It's very similar to this, but we're going to rest the toes on the ground as we row. 10 reps. Finally, we're going to re-rack the weight. The opposite leg is going to come up to knee height, and we're going to hold that position for our core. 20 seconds. We're doing both sides. Here we go, set it up, rack your kettlebell, fist under the chin, elbow tucked in, press, three seconds to lower, press, three seconds to lower, standing plank, stay tight, press, three seconds to lower, continue like this, stay tight. Tense the glutes. Tense your quads. We're going all the way to 10 reps. Great work. Set up your single leg bent over row, resting the toes on the ground. Chest high, back flat, elbow stays tucked in close to the ribs, engage your middle back. Pull the kettlebell back towards your pocket. Rack your weight. Root your foot to the ground, opposite leg comes up, drive the knee Intensely engage the core and hold right there. Nice work. Beautiful. Put your weight down. Shake things out a bit. Go ahead. Set up the other side. Rack your weight, fist under chin, elbow tucked in, standing plank, press, three seconds to lower, press, three seconds to lower, press, three, two, one, continue like that, all the way to 10 reps.
standing plank, tense the glutes, crush the handle if you need it. Almost there. Good job. Set up your bent over row. Chest high, back flat, engage the middle back. The toes are barely resting on the ground. Front foot is loaded. Excellent. Rack the kettlebell, opposite leg comes up, knee drive, keep your core tight, make sure to breathe. Hold, hold, hold. We have one more round to do. Go ahead and pause the video if you need some extra time to recover. This set, if you need to do the push press, use the assistance from the legs, go ahead and do that. Not a problem. Here we go. Rack up your weight. Same thing. We press. Three seconds to lower. Continue in this fashion, and if you need to do the push press, Go for it. We're doing 10 reps. Lining up the bicep with the ear. Your core stays tight. Wrist is straight. Always pull it down to that rack position. Fist under chin, elbow tucked in. Total control. You're almost there. Excellent. Bent over row. Chest high, back flat. Pull the kettlebell towards your hip pocket. Almost done. Beautiful. Rack the weight. Let's get the opposite leg up off the ground. Knee drive and hold. Lock out your knee. Stay tight. Amazing core drill here. Excellent work. Ditch your weight. Shake things out a bit. Same thing for the other side. Last set like this. Time to push it. Press the weight up. Three second negative. All the way to 10 reps. Lining up that bicep with the ear. Crushing the handle. Wrist is straight. Standing plank. If you need to do the push press, go for it. Almost there. A few more reps. Excellent work. Set up your bent over row. Barely resting those toes on the ground. Chest high, back flat. Pull it back towards your hip pocket. 
It's the last set for our upper body drill. Rack up your weight. Opposite leg comes up, drive the knee and hold. Tense the core, stay tight, hold that position. Great work on finishing this session. That was not easy, pretty thorough, lower body, upper body drill. If you still have some gas left, check out this body weight finisher. Set the timer for three minutes. We're gonna do the monkey, the crab walk, and the side crawl, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate everything very slow because I'm still healing, but I want you to do it at whatever pace you're comfortable with, okay? If you're feeling a stretch, a walk, a bike, a light jog right now, go ahead and do that. Stretch what is tight, but if you have some gas left, check out this finisher and remember to go at whatever pace you can control your own body, okay? This is Coach Sean telling you to be strong, confident, and capable, but as always, kind, compassionate, and happy. Check this out, all the best, we'll see you soon. Stand nice and tall in your squat stance. Engage your hands flat on the ground, do a side hop, land in the squat, and stand up nice and tall, as you see. Knees stay in line with the toes. Again, keep your hands flat as you shift your weight to the side. Land softly in the squat and stand nice and tall. Then we're getting into the crab walk. Chest high, shoulders down, advancing forward with whatever space you have available and backwards. Shoot for about five steps. If this is not an option, perform this variation, alternating knee extensions for about five and five. This is totally fine. Then we're getting into the side crawl. Try it in the bear crawl stance as shown. Chest high, back flat, pretend like you're balancing something on your back. Again, aiming for about five paces there and back. We're doing this for three minutes. Here we go, set up the monkey, shift to the side, stand tall. Squat down, hands flat, shift to the side, stand tall. Squat, hands, shift, stand. Squat, hands, shift, stand. Good, get into your crab walk. Chest high, shoulders down, advance forward, control. You should be able to pause at any second. Excellent work, transition into the side crawl. Go about five paces one way, five paces back. Always pretend like you're balancing something on your back when you're doing these side crawls or the bear crawls. Stay control. Back up on our feet. Return to the monkey. Squat. Hands flat. Stand tall. Keep that going. Land as smooth as you can. Always standing tall in between the reps. Excellent. Into your crab walk. Nice and controlled, chest high, shoulders down. Transition into the side crawl.
Excellent work. Back up on our feet. We have one more round to do here. Squat. Hands flat. Shift to the side. Stand tall. Nice and controlled. Take the opportunity to practice a good squat. Almost done with the monkey. Beautiful. Into the crab walk. Chest high, shoulders down. Forwards and backwards. Almost done here. Finish with that side crawl. And then you are done. Excellent work. Well done.